started with uh, Barbie Breedlove, our associate athletic director. Uh, she started uh, this grant uh, last year and she uh, assembled a grant team uh, that included our, our ticket manager, our marketing representative, a media relations representative, uh, a secretary, and a graduate assistant. And that team was able to uh, fulfill the call from the NCAA uh, to increase women's basketball attendance here at ETSU. Of course, the NCAA wanted us to get this going at a grassroots level so it would be sustainable in the future. So we went out and we partnered with, with these organizations who already have existing uh, databases that are quite large. And that makes it easier for us as a grant team to recruit a, a database and a, a fan base that's going to come in uh, to watch a basketball game year in and year out. And I think that was the most important thing for our grant team is, is making this a uh, sustainable process. I mean, we got a, a fair amount of money here for, uh, for only one year. So we wanted to, to, to uh, recruit fans and, and let them see what a wonderful experience a women's basketball game uh, could be like here at ETSU. Well, we do a number of business after hours during the course of the year, and the university wanted to use our uh, database of members. Uh, we have uh, about 700 businesses who employ 30,000 citizens. Well, we were quite pleased that we were asked to be involved with uh, Ladybuck Basketball and, of course, the ETSU Athletic Department in general. Uh, we see these young women as some of our best ambassadors. Uh, a student athlete uh, this day and time is a very special person and they can make a big difference locally and when they travel. So when they ask if we as the business community would work with them for the Blue Nanza event when we help them host Vanderbilt, we almost beat those girls. Of course, if you know Vanderbilt, lost the next game too. So I think we said in their mind that Ladybuck basketball is a for real thing and we're very competitive and last year's NCAA showed that. So we were just trying to get the business folks engaged and have them come and participate in a fun event. The event was exciting. There were great uh, uh, fan uh, interaction during the course of the evening about new apparel. Uh, so we, we were quite excited to be part of it and we'll look forward to other events in the coming months. There, um, it's just a dollar for the uh, admission and if you come in early enough you get two for one sort of kind of so two games, a Lady Bucks basketball game, a guys basketball game for one dollar. Hey, you can't beat that. And uh, we're, just, like I said, we're just trying to advertise, uh, to tell people about our uh, Lions Club organization here locally and uh, we have some signs and, and things like that to uh, show folks that uh, like you know learn the danger signs uh, of course for your vision and um, you know just celebrate and help uh, just you know give the gift of giving. I bought a just went out on a step of faith and bought a, a group of student tickets there in section AA and we ended up bringing around 100 or 300 people out to the game on Saturday and uh, when we got there uh, everybody's just real nice, real cordial to us, and uh, they, they hooked us up with a ton of t-shirts. They, they were always out there throwing them into the crowd and uh, gave us a bunch of swords and, and frisbees. The cheerleaders got to get out there and cheer with the cheerleaders, and the kids and the cheerleaders both got to, got to make a tunnel uh, for, the, for the Bucks to run out, the Lady Bucks to run out to, and uh, then again at halftime, uh, our uh, group of our fifth and sixth grade girls got to actually play a, a halftime game. Uh, they're on a Division One basketball court, and uh, that was just a, a super thing, something that they'll probably never, never forget. And uh, we just had a really good time out there supporting the Bucks. The grant team has been very nice, very accommodating. Uh, we know where to go, where we're supposed to go, and you know, give us details on. Um, all the logistics and everything, and, and of course, she's been very um, hospitable. Um, the food's been great. The kids are having a great time with the inflatables, um, poster making, and the tattoo art and all that good stuff. So we're really excited. And you know, um, on the larger scale, for our volunteers, it's a good way for them to be with their little brother and their little sister. You know, not have to pay for it, and um, but have a great time. And so we're really appreciative of the staff and how accommodating they've been with us. Uh, I called and spoke to Sarah in the grant department and told her I was wanting to bring my uh, girls basketball team to the game today and um, she told me about the uh, picnic that they were doing, the tailgate picnic and the inflatable games and told us to bring the girls over, they would be able to make posters and it was Bucky's birthday and have a whole celebration. So my basketball team could not wait to get here. Definitely we'd like to plan an event in the future. They're already talking about it again for next year. We only did one game this year, so next year we'll definitely do more than that. Every day is special to me because I'm a breast cancer survivor. And I was real excited when the grant team asked me to be a part of this event. 
and I hope we'll be able to raise funds so that we can do more research to fight breast cancer. I represent all the breast cancer survivors on campus. I think there's about 20 and about 11 or 12 of us will be here this evening. I hope we get another grant so we can continue to do this fight. I've got four uh, daughters and three granddaughters and I hope uh, that we won't be able to, uh, won't have to fight breast cancer when they grow up. I have friends that are breast cancer survivors and this friend donated her hair twice to Locks of Love. Phyllis. Well, my granddaughter had did it, so I figured if she did it, I could do it. And then the second time, I thought, well, I'll just do it again. And now it might be a third time since the hair is getting longer. <laughs>